So you want to tell your story, your legacy, but in the sea of options, what kind of documentary would really nail it for you? So think of it like cooking. You wouldn't cook a steak the same way you would cook pasta, right? Different tales require different treatments, and today we're diving right into the menu. And if you've been following this series so far, you know that documentaries can be as transformative as they are diverse. From Super Size Me all the way to Making a Murderer, honestly, the range is bonkers. But did you ever stop to think why certain stories are custom tailored to a certain format? Let's break that down. Number one, the spot. When we talk about spots, you want to think of them as your elevator pitch in cinematic form. You're capturing a single compelling aspect of your business. That could be a problem that you solve, a unique feature, or even a milestone achievement. Imagine for a second you're a fitness coach, and we're going to dive deeper into that. A spot could be a 30 second visual of a client before and after their transformation. If you're a tech company, a spot can demonstrate a unique feature that sets your product apart, making those viewers think, wow, how did I ever live without this? Wow. Number two, the short film. A short film is where the narrative texture starts to come in. Think of it as a extended case study. Imagine you're a business coach specializing in scaling startups. A short film can revolve around a young entrepreneur that has a groundbreaking product but is just struggling with the challenges of going from a local market to a national market. This is a tale that unfurls not just those challenges like late night strategy sessions, missed milestones, dwindling funds, but also the turning point, your intervention. As the coach, you would appear as a pivotal character who brings not just the business acumen, but also emotional intelligence into the narrative. You're the guy that helps the entrepreneur refine their business model, connect with investors, and more importantly, instill a sense of belief that they indeed can scale the unscalable. And by the end of the 15-20 minute short film, viewers would have witnessed this startup's journey from the brinks of collapse to a thriving entity. And they'd see your coaching methods in action, real and unscripted. Number three, the feature film. When you've got a legacy, a journey filled with ups, downs, and valuable lessons, that is feature film material. Imagine for a moment that you're a seasonal relationship coach who's been in the industry for two decades. You've seen it all. Love at first sight, disastrous breakups, even marital woes that seem unsurmountable. You have a treasure trove of experiences and testimonials and your methodologies have also evolved with societal changes in the dating norms and marital expectations. The feature film begins by setting the stage, maybe with a montage of infamous dating scenes from pop culture, sharply contrasted with real life video snippets from news and social media. And that would highlight the current chaotic state in relationships. It would serve as a potent metaphor for the complexity that is modern dating. A labyrinth of Tinder swipes, ghosting, and the paradox of choice. But enter you the relationship coach. You're positioned as the wise guy through this maze. A sort of love guru for the modern age. Yes, I am. And a feature film can dive into the nuanced layers of your coaching practice. Plus, it could also profile several clients whose lives have dramatically been improved because of your work. One was a serial dater who was never able to commit. Another could be a couple on the brinks of divorce. And yet another might be a young individual who's completely delusioned about the concept of love. What is love? And as the camera follows these case studies, viewers can now witness the transformation happening by your coaching. Better communication, revived intimacy, and a better sense of partnership. Heck, the film might even dive into your own life. Perhaps revealing how your struggle with relationships gave you the passion to help others with theirs. Feature films of this sort aren't just content. They're a series of events. You could premiere this film at an annual relationship summit or use it as a centerpiece for a milestone anniversary in your coaching business. This is a long-term investment. 
but the payoff is an in-depth, nuanced portrayal of your brand, your methods, and your undeniable impact. Last but not least, the docu-series. A docu-series is the holy grail of business documentaries. For this example, uh, let's say you're a fitness coach. Imagine for a second you're a fitness coach, and we're gonna dive deeper into that. You're not just counting reps, you are transforming lives one squat at a time. But let's level for a second. You got big dreams, right? Maybe it's been uh, training for that bodybuilding competition that's been on your bucket list. Or maybe it's helping 100 men over 40 go back to their high school bodies. You see, these aren't just goals, they're missions. Personal odysseys with stakes, sweat, and a little bit of soul searching. And that is where a docu-series can be a game changer for you. Picture this, an episodic journey that follows you through the highs and the lows while you prepare for that bodybuilding competition. One episode can zoom in on that raw morning grind, your alarms ringing before the sun comes up, your shoes hitting the pavement in the freezing cold, and those moments where you're questioning why you're even doing this to yourself. Another episode can completely flip the script. It can delve into the interactions that you're having with those men that you're helping. How you deal with their struggles and their little victories. Showing not only your expertise, but that you're empathetic too. Oh, and I can even just picture the type of questions I would want to know answers to. Not your typical usual, well, what's your workout routine? How many calories do you eat per day? I, I would go deep and ask you questions like, tell me the exact moment that you knew you needed to dive into this bodybuilding competition. What was your fuel? When you're coaching these men over 40, what is going on through your mind when they struggle and they hit a wall? And what are you doing to pull them out of that? These are questions that crack open the essence of what makes this journey of yours so compelling. You want to make your audience feel the grit, the nerves, that adrenaline rush, that inner monologue that's really only reserved for your journal at 2 a.m. So, if you're on the fence of how to elevate your brand, consider this. A docu-series is more than just video content. It's your legacy serialized. It's your chance to invite people along for a ride that's so real, so intimate, that they're going to want to do nothing but root for you. And you're not just building an audience at this point, you're building a community that is just as invested in your journey as you are. They're the ideal format if you're looking to build something that's long-term and everlasting. So you might be sitting there, scrolling through the options and thinking to yourself, wow, where do I even begin? Trust me, it's a question that I've grappled with myself. And that's because the world of film is so vast and each type of documentary offers its own opportunities and challenges. When you're dealing with something as concise as a spot, you're really creating a hyper-focused message. It's not about capturing every single nuance at that point. It's about boiling down your story into its most impactful element. And it's something that grabs people, shakes them, and makes them think, even if it's only for a moment. But let's jump to the other side for a second. Docu-series. Here, you're no longer confined to a time limit. This is the space to tell your story and all its sprawling, messy, wonderful details. It's where you can tackle the different facets of your business or your journey, which allows you to create an ongoing dialogue with your audience. People will come back for each episode and eager to see what's gonna happen next. And that creates a bond, a connection, something that is really difficult to do through other means. What I've learned through my filmmaking journey is that choosing a documentary format is not just about making a business decision. It's an emotional one. It's really about how much you want to reveal, how deep you want to dive, and what parts of yourself are you truly ready to share with the world. So as you're sitting there contemplating these options, Keep in mind, the choice you make will not only shape how you tell your story, but how your story is perceived. It's a powerful decision, and I'm here to guide you through it. And with that being said, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you 
on the next video.